Imagine this, you're on a game show. In front of you are three doors. Behind one of them is a grand prize, let's say a brand new car, and behind the other two are goats. The host Monty Hall asks you to pick a door. After you choose Monty, who knows what's behind each door, opens one of the other doors to reveal a goat. Now he gives you a choice. Stick with your original door or switch to the other unopened door. What would you do? This, my friends, is a famous Monty Hall problem, and the counterintuitive answer has puzzled and fascinated people for decades. In today's video, we'll explore how this paradox works and why, against all intuition, switching doors is statistically the best strategy. Let's break down the setup. You have three doors, behind one is the car, and behind the other two are goats. You pick one door, for example, door number one. Monty, the host, then reveals a goat behind one of the two doors you didn't choose, say, door number three. Now, Monty asks if you want to switch to door number two, or stay with your original choice, door number one. At first glance, you might think the odds are now 50 to 50. There are two doors left, and one has the car. Right. Well, not quite. The key to solving the Monty Hall paradox lies in understanding probability, and how the situation changes when Monty reveals a door. When you first choose a door, there's a 1 in 3 chance, or 33.33%, that you picked the car and a 2 in 3 chance, or 66.67% that you picked a goat. Now, after Monty opens a door with a goat, he's giving you more information. This is where things get interesting. If your original pick was a goat, which happens 66.67% of the time, switching will win you the car. If your original pick was the car, which happens 33.33% of the time, switching will make you lose. In other words, by switching, you take advantage of the 66.67% chance that you originally chose a goat. This is why the counterintuitive yet correct strategy is to always switch doors. Let's illustrate this with a quick example to show the numbers in action. Scenario 1, you stick with your original choice. You have a 1 in 3 chance of winning the car. You have a 2 in 3 chance of sticking with a goat. Scenario 2, you switch doors. If your initial pick was a goat, which happens two-thirds of the time, switching means you win the car. If your initial pick was the car, which happens one-third of the time, switching means you lose. In other words, switching gives you a two-thirds chance of winning, while sticking with your first choice only gives you a one-third chance of winning. It's a game of probability, not luck. The more doors Monty opens with goats behind them, the higher the odds that switching will lead to the car. So why does this feel so wrong to many people? The Monty Hall problem challenges our intuitive sense of fairness. We naturally assume that once one of the doors is removed from the equation, the remaining two doors should be equally likely to hide the car, making it a 50-50 choice. But this is where our intuition fails us. The problem here is that the act of Monty revealing a goat changes the conditions of the game. He is not making a random choice, he always shows you a goat, and this new information tilts the odds in favor of switching. Many people mistakenly treat Monty's reveal as a fresh start, but it's not. The initial choice you made still holds the original odds, 1 to 3 for the car, 2 to 3 for a goat, and switching just improves your chances of correcting a bad guess. The Monty Hall problem has become so famous that it's been referenced in books, movies, and TV shows. Perhaps most notably, it was popularized in the early 90s by columnist Marilyn Voss Savant, who explained the solution in her Ask Marilyn column. The answer sparked a huge debate with many people, including mathematicians, challenging her. But as we now know, the math checks out. This paradox is an excellent example of how human intuition can mislead us when dealing with probabilities. In fact, it's used to teach probability theory and decision-making in many classrooms around the world today. So, what have we learned from the Monty Hall problem? The next time you find yourself on a game show, or facing a decision that involves probability and risk, remember that our gut instincts can sometimes be wrong. And when it comes to this particular game, the best strategy is simple, always switch. The Monty Hall paradox shows us that sometimes, counterintuitive solutions are the right ones, and understanding how probability works can help us make smarter choices, both in games and in life. What would you do if you were on the show? Stick or switch? Let us know in the comments.